Welcome to this mobility site. Video first look. Hey, what's up, folks? This is Chris Lightness, MobilitySite.com, and I want to show you a new browser. Well, it's not new, it's a new version of a browser for Windows Mobile. I'm going to demonstrate it on the HC2. It's called Skyfire. They released uh, version 1.5 today, and they made a lot of enhancements to make it a lot better. What they've done is they've made it social. They've made it VGA, they've given it VGA support, they've made it where it can go full screen and all that good stuff. So uh, what Skyfire does is it actually renders the web pages on its server and allows rich media content to come to your phone through their server instead of directly on your phone because you know as, uh, as you know a lot of the phone's browsers do not support flash and whatnot so they make it happen. So here we go is your home screen here and you've got a menu bar or a uh, search bar up here and you've got some tabs here you've got bookmarks and history and this is your home and you can set this thing up to uh, have your Twitter account RSS feeds Facebook whatever show up on this uh, home screen here so as you can see right here these are my Twitter feeds I don't see any Facebook's mixed in there but I have my Facebook account also set up there you can also set up Gmail on here as well so then we've got bookmarks and I've actually got one bookmark that I've put in here which is my site mobility site uh, and then history which is going to be blank so let's just go to mobility site uh, well actually let's go back to the front page I want to show you one more thing here um, you can update your status on Twitter even from here so you actually don't even need an application you can just pow 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 type whatever you're doing here but da 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 so but I'm gonna just cancel that cuz yeah I don't want to update my status to say doing a video of Skyfire. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go to bookmarks now. Okay, we'll get out of there. And I'm running this on a, and as you can see, there's some of the default RSS feeds that they put on here. Um, I'm running this on Wi-Fi because 3G doesn't really give me happiness out in my area here. So come on, let's go bookmarks. But it's a really pretty looking browser. Skyfire in its first incarnation wasn't bad. But there were some people that thought it wasn't that great looking either. So anyway, we'll go ahead and go to Mobility Site and hope that this actually brings up the full version of the website to show you how it looks rather than our... Did I actually click that? Rather than our um, mobile version. Here we go. As you can see, there's your status bar across the top with the page load. And yeah. So while we're doing that, you got a back button here, home button, uh, zoom button, um, favorite menu here so you can bookmark or view bookmarks, and then you've got your tools, and you can go to full screen mode here, history, mute the audio, you can click share and put it on SMS, online, Skyfire, whatever. Then you've got your settings, show page drag control, set Skyfire's default, and then you've got some advanced options. and uh, there we go so go back here and while it's loading I'll show you got help and exit Skyfire and it actually exits Skyfire so go ahead and click off of that and we will get mobility site back up and it's taking a little bit of time here and once it does we'll go full screen and show you how that looks so it comes up pretty quick as you can see uh, once it's actually loaded up and you can see all the rich media I believe that actually is a flash banner that I have running there which I believe shows up in Opera too, though so it really but you still got the problem that a lot of browsers have to where you've got you know basically nothing why it's still loading up here we were able to go left to right just fine but well, now it's refreshing up here so yeah um, to zoom in you just click there zoom out click there or you can click on your zoom button here and just step it one at a time here all right come on I'm pressing you there you go see what I'm saying there so it takes just a moment to render the new font size and all that good stuff so it's pretty simple uh, very powerful looked at ESPN on it today oh another thing I forgot to show you is back on 
that we'll go ahead and hit the home button there to show you going back home <coughs> excuse me um, under bookmarks the bookmark that I showed you was my own but they have some preset bookmarks in here for different categories and I'll show you that and this is the beauty of Skyfire is what I'm going to show you which I'm not sure how quickly this is going to load if it's going to even be worth showing you but we can go click on one of these uh, it's supposed to be pretty finger friendly but these are a little small here so let me pick it up and try to get an angle on it here there we go and here's some bookmarks that they've preloaded for us in the video category and one of them is YouTube my TV rooftop comedy so we'll click on YouTube here and see what this will do for us I'm not gonna lie this is the first time Oh, it didn't take it there we go now it's working this is the first time that I've tried this YouTube so I'm not 100% sure what type of result we'll have here so this like I said this is 1.5 version of Skyfire and it just got announced today it's a free download for Nokia Symbian devices and for Windows Mobile and there's YouTube and here's a video showing the uh, iPod touch there so we'll go here and we'll just find a video Jimmy V week and see what it'll do for us and it's loading pretty quick here of course that's just loading the page and probably not buffering the video through there you go There's a little delay in that, but anyway, so that is the Skyfire Browser 1.5, and as you can see, we're watching an actual YouTube video on the actual YouTube video site. So, yeah, it's pretty nice, and it's free, so check it out if you're a Windows Mobile user. And my name is Chris. Check out MobilitySite.com for more information about this and anything else mobility. Thanks.